Are you worried about leaving your boxer at home because they're not quite there with their house training and you're not sure how long that's gonna take? Well, don't worry, this is the video for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the boxer and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Having a boxer that is house trained is so, so important for you and for them and your relationship. So today we're gonna to be tuning into a webinar that the canine behaviorist and founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com, Will, has recorded all about how how long it realistically takes to have your dog house trained. So in this quick fire webinar, we're gonna be discussing how long it should take for you to expect your dog to be reliably house trained, potty trained or toilet trained, whatever you call it from whichever country you're from. Now, how to actually toilet train and potty train your new puppy is something that we cover at length over in our Perfect Puppy course. And in this video, I want to discuss in more detail about how long you should expect that process to take. Now, this is completely independent to your dog, mainly from its breed, but also its individual characteristics. What I will say is that the more effort, dedication, time, commitment, and consistency that you're willing to put in, the quicker it will take. You also have to take into account naturally what you you actually mean by a dog being toilet trained? Do you mean a dog that will never have an accident inside whatsoever? Or do you mean a dog that knows that it should go outside to the toilet if given the opportunity by yourself? Now, if we're talking about the first one, first of all, a dog can only go so long being without needing to go to the toilet. And if you keep it locked up for more than say eight hours, even an adult dog is gonna struggle and may have an accident. What I'm referring to when how long it takes to toilet train a dog is a dog that knows that it should go outside for the toilet. And when following our procedure on a perfect puppy course, I genuinely, truly believe that that is achieved within the first week. One of our main core principles is around on the hour, every hour, when the dog wakes up from a sleep, when the dog's had a drink, and when the dog's had something to eat. If we are consistent, and I mean brutally, militant with our consistency of taking the dog outside to the desired place, when they go to the toilet, lavishly praising and reinforcing that behavior, within one week, that dog will understand that that is where we want them to go to the toilet, also known as being toilet trained. Where that then goes on is about us giving them enough opportunity to then not have accidents. When they start having accidents, that's where that toilet training can start to be unpicked. But if you want to achieve that training that can be done within a week, you then need to keep up the consistency to reinforce that training. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. A good rule of thumb is that for each month of age that the puppy is, is an hour that it can hold its bladder. Now, when a puppy comes to you at eight weeks or around two months, technically it should be able to hold it for two hours. But if we're being militant of going on the hour every hour, we're always making sure that we're ahead of the game and trying to set them up for success. Sometimes they might not need to go, but at least we're giving them the opportunity. If at three months you go out on the hour every other hour, maybe they can hold it for three hours, but we're going out at two. At four months, when they might be able to hold it for four hours, we're going out at three. And you get the point. You can slowly start to increase the amount of time that you can expect from your dog, but as long as you're always setting them up for success, it isn't rocket science to have a dog toilet trained within one week. The true magic and true art is how disciplined and consistent are you prepared to be, even if it's a bit frustrating or a bit annoying or you've got other things to do. If you can prioritize it, I truly believe believe that you absolutely can have your dog toilet trained within one week and we have achieved that on countless occasions here with our own dogs or the clients that I've worked with in person with their puppies. And last but not least we also have countless amounts of testimonies from owners that have never had a single accident when following our perfect puppy protocols in our perfect puppy course. Now is that because our protocols and our ideas around toilet training are revolutionary and it's super secret tip and trick? 
No, not at all. But those owners were willing to put in the effort of following the straightforward processes and therefore they never had an accident with their dog and their dog only ever knows to go to the toilet in the desired place. That comes from militant levels of commitment, dedication and consistency, but it absolutely can and is every day being achieved by owners all around the world. There you have it guys, some really useful tips and tricks that you can put into practice straight away with your boxer. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have two dedicated videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir Boxer Show.